Okay, welcome to a series of videos looking at key points for the Mechanics 3 module. Um, today I'll be looking at the first chapter on further kinematics. So there are two aspects to this. First, they'll give you acceleration as a function of time. And this is pretty easy. All you're looking at doing is exactly what you did in Mechanics 1 or 2, going from acceleration to displacement you're going to integrate going from displacement up to acceleration you're going to differentiate the only difference is they'll ask you more complicated questions like this one so acceleration is still a function of time um, you have a particle moving with acceleration cos pi t and it starts from s that t is naught and they want the velocity when t is a half so acceleration is the differential of velocity with respect to time um, which means that velocity is the integral of the acceleration must remember once you've integrated and got 1 over pi sine pi t to add the constant of integration a lot of people forget that so initial conditions v is naught when t is naught so c is naught so your equation relating v to t is v is 1 over pi sine pi t. So when t is 0 0.5, v is 1 over pi, which is 0 0.32 meters per second, to two decimal places. Now, if we look at if acceleration is not a function of time, but a function of displacement. Now, there is some derivation that you can do here, but essentially you're looking at using I won't go through all of it here, we'll just focus on the final formulae that a half v squared is the integral of the function of x with respect to x. That is what you need to remember. Okay, so we have particle moving along positive x-axis, acceleration of 3x. Um, when x is naught, velocity of p is 8, so that gives us the initial conditions. Get an expression for v in terms of x. So. We know a half v squared from this equation here is equal to the integral of f of x dx. So we integrate 3x to get this plus c and then we look at our initial conditions here. v is 8 when x is naught, so we substitute v is 8 and x is naught into this and we get a half v squared is this, rearrange and get v is the root of 3x squared plus 64. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you for listening.